Today, we're taking a look at Terabox Cloud Storage, a great storage solution for all of your devices, and it offers a whopping one terabyte of free storage. Now, full disclosure, before we get started, the video is sponsored by Terabox, and they've asked me to showcase the cloud storage to you guys, but opinions are still my own, and in fact, I was already using Terabox before they asked me to do the video. So Terabox is a great storage solution, and as you might have guessed by the name, it offers one terabyte or 1024 gigs of free storage data for all of its users. Now for a start, the one terabyte of free storage is a big reason to give them a go if you haven't already. And currently, I believe Google Drive is the second largest with only 15 gigabytes for free users. And then companies like Dropbox are only offering two gigabytes. So if you want a lot of storage for free, then it's a no brainer. And it's the reason that I originally opened my account. When it comes to accessing the cloud storage, it's also incredibly easy as you'd expect. You can just open up a browser and go to the website. Or you can go to the App Store, search for the Terabox app and install it on your device. They've got apps for Windows, Mac, iOS and Android. And they've even got an app for Linux. And when it comes to mobile users, we've also got plenty of features like auto backups of photos, videos and any specified folders. And of course, you can manually upload any file that you want. Now, if we first take a look at the mobile app, you can see we get a list of the files that we've got backed up on Terabox. We can simply view or download the ones we want. Or we can press the plus icon to upload something new. A great feature here is also the personal vault. And this is a secure area for you to upload files and it's going to require a password to access them. But it's also worth noting that the vault is very secure and your password cannot be recovered. So don't forget your password because if you do forget it, the only option is to destroy the vault. Now we can choose between photos and videos. And I imagine that this is what most people are going to be using the app for on your mobile. And it also neatly sorts them out in date order. Now, if you press on your account details at the top right, you can turn automatic backup on or off. And you can specify if this is for photos or videos or both. And you can also choose whether or not it's allowed to backup when you're on cellular data only, or you can restrict it to Wi-Fi only if you don't have unlimited data. Now, we've also got options to store in the original quality instead of compressed, as well as the automatic folder backup. Now, this feature does require the premium account, but it is at a pretty reasonable cost, but we'll go into detail on the premium account shortly. Now, we've got a space analyzer to help you understand where your storage is being used. We've also got the vault, which we covered just a second ago, and there's plenty more settings that you can customize to your liking. Now, for those of you accessing via the PC or Mac app, you can see it's a similar layout offering the same features, but just in a different look on the computer. Now in settings, we can choose whether or not Terabox is going to boot with Windows. You can select if you want it to appear under My Computer, and you can also turn the Terabox floating window on or off and choose whether or not you want it to be able to auto-read the clipboard. Now, of course, as with everything free, there are limitations, but thankfully with Terabox, it's all pretty reasonable. For a start, the one terabyte is completely free. All you've got to do is sign up and create an account and your one terabyte of storage is available to use. Now, there are restrictions on file size limits, but again, they're pretty reasonable. For free users, you get four gigabyte upload limit on mobile devices and 20 gigabyte upload limit on PC. And then for the premium users, it upgrades to 20 gigabyte on mobile, and then 128 gig on PC. When it comes to privacy, they comply with GDPR along with having achieved three different ISO certifications. And the service is operated by FlexTech and they're a Japanese technology company. So I imagine one terabyte is going to be plenty for most people, but those who need more storage, they offer the premium storage. And this gives you a few additional features like original photo and video quality, as well as automatic folder backup. And when it comes to storage, it gets doubled. So this means that you get two terabytes, which is of course, 2048 gigs. Now the premium tier is $36 a year, which when you compare it to its competitors, it's actually a much better value. For example, Google charge $20 for 100 gigabytes and the two terabyte option is $100. Dropbox, it's $120 for two terabytes. And then OneDrive, it's gonna cost you $70 for just one terabyte. So Terabox clearly stands out as the best value product. So as I said at the start, while Terabox approached me for this review, I did actually already have an account with them. So I'm pretty familiar with the service. For me, it just works well, it's easy to use and I use it for the storage of my larger files. 
Now, I can have it on all of my devices, which means not only is it good for storage, but I also use it to transfer files between my phone, PC, and laptop, and it's never caused me any problems. Now, when it comes to two terabyte of storage, it's a clear winner in terms of the pricing. And as I said, they've got their ISO certifications in information security management, privacy information management, and personal data in the cloud, so you can be rest assured that your data is safe for them. So if you're in the need for cloud storage, then I highly recommend checking them out now by clicking the link down in the description below, or just getting the app on one of your devices and making an account from there. Now, hopefully I've covered everything in today's video, but of course, if there's anything I've missed or you've got any questions at all, then just ask them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech.